I'm Brian with HVAC School, and I'm here with Sal from Products by Pros. How you guys doing? I nice think to meet you. You can't, you can't meet them. So today we're going to be doing a video on Alcop Braze made by Solderweld. It's a really innovative product and it works with aluminum to copper. Uh, you can use it to connect aluminum to copper, obviously, either whether the aluminum goes into the copper or the copper goes into the aluminum. Uh, you can also use it to patch aluminum or copper, especially pertinent when you have copper that's near aluminum. Correct. When you have copper that's near aluminum, obviously aluminum starts to disappear on you at about 1200 degrees and uh, a lot of the copper rods, they start to flow at about 1200 degrees, so that's incompatible. This Alcop rod, this flows around what temperature? Uh, 950 to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, right in there. Okay. So it's in the safe zone for aluminum and obviously for copper. But one of the big things you want to know with this is that obviously you still have to be careful not to overheat the aluminum, but the easiest way to do that is to work with your heat primarily on the copper. And I'm going to show you how that's done. But let's get a close shot here of the rod itself. So if you look closely at this rod, you can see there's a flux actually laid into the channel. So this is what we call a flux channel rod. And what's nice about that is you can lay it with the flux side down. So that way the flux is allowed to wet the copper and aluminum absorb or eliminate any of those oxides that want to build up that would normally prevent the solder from flowing. Another nice thing about this flux is it's a non-acidic flux. So it doesn't need to be cleaned and it's not going to corrode the copper or aluminum, although I still prefer cleaning it when I'm done. Let's show you how this is done. All right, so I'm going to be using an aerocetylene, actually a turbo torch with a three tip on it. You can use oxacetylene, but again, you want to use a reducing flame, kind of a soft flame and hold it back a little ways. You want to make sure that you definitely don't overheat that aluminum and you can overheat the aluminum by overheating the copper and then you'll lose your aluminum. So you just want to be really thoughtful about it. So let me show you the technique here. So you want to apply heat back on the copper because it's in the safe zone. So here we're definitely not going to cause too much trouble with the aluminum. And what we can do is, is then just kind of brush forward just a little bit and we can apply the rod to the top of it here so that once it hits the temperature, the flux will start to run. And once that happens, then it will wet the copper and the aluminum. There you go. You see it just wrapped right around. Really, I think we're done. That's really all there is to it. The flux runs out first because the flux is on the downside and that just wraps right around. So now let me, like, we're gonna let it cool a little bit because aluminum and copper have different expansion and contraction rates. So we wanna let it cool naturally. Once that's done, then we'll clean it up and I'll show you what we've got. Another nice thing with the solder weld multi-kit is it comes with a little brush with a lanyard on it, which is a nice little tool to just clean up. And you can kind of see on it, especially on the copper, that it, that that flux flowed around and wetted that surface. So you can, you can kind of see that right there, that edge where the flux made it around. And that's really important that the flux makes it around. The goal with any joint is to pull the solder into the joint. So while we want to have a nice little cap there on the edge, that isn't the most important thing. The most important thing is that it's actually pulled in, that the material makes it into the inside of the joint. So I'm going to cut it open and show you what it looks like on the inside. It's hard to see in there, but you can see a, a thin rim of material in the inside, which is what you're looking for. If you overdo the material or if your gap is too wide, you can actually pull solder into the joint and that would be next to a disaster. So this is actually perfect. You just see a thin rim, rim of material on the inside and it was a nice tight joint. And so you know that that's gonna hold. All right, so in practice, you can use Alcop Braze for patches. You can use it for connecting tubing between aluminum uh, and copper. The biggest thing to know is apply flux side down and put your heat on the copper until that flux goes and just runs around. Don't over apply your material. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you, Sal, for being here. Thank you for having me. Brian with HVAC School. Sal with Products by Pros. Have a good one. Biscuit eater.